If the creationist model is true, then no group of amphibians evolved into reptiles. Reptiles have always existed, and there should be no transitional forms between them with features of both. If intelligent design is true, the tenet of irreducible complexity should apply, where the reptile body plan should be so different from that of amphibians, which have an aquatic lifestyle and are very different from reptiles today, that it would be impossible for there to be intermediate forms, that no uh, organisms would survive if they had half of a reptile body plan or half of a skull, that these reptilian features should not be able to evolve in stages. Instead, if the evolutionary model is true, then one would expect before any group of modern reptiles appears for there to be transitional forms, which are classified as reptiles, but which uh, have some features which only amphibians have today, some ancestral features. The first reptiles are known from the Carboniferous period. They are not like any reptiles today. There were no lizards or crocodiles or turtles or snakes. And they did possess a number of features which are typical of the more primitive amphibians. The first reptile still possessed a notochord which ran the entire length of their uh, backs through their vertebrae. Their vertebrae had not yet consolidated. They uh, possessed a more primitive skull, very similar to some of the amphibian groups. The earliest ones still possessed dermal scales, fish-like scales on their undersides, as had uh, many of the early amphibians, completely unlike the reptilian scales of today, but more like fish scales. Their ankles and foot bones uh, resembled a number of amphibians, and they were primitive in a number of uh, features.